Hello dear students. Today we will learn about transmission media used in physical layer of OSI model. Learning objective of this presentation is students will be able to know types of media guided, unguided, design factors for the transmission media, electromagnetic spectrum for the transmission media, guided transmission media such as twisted pair, coaxial cable, fiber optic cable and unguided media such as terrestrial microwave, satellite microwave, broadcast radio, infrared etc. At the end of this video student will be able to compare the feasibility of fiber optic cable and terrestrial microwave media for the networking of their institute containing let's say 250 computers. Different type of transmission medias are available with for the networking of computer network. So here we are taking the example of conducted or guided media. Conducted media is they are using conductor such as wire or fiber optic cable to move the signal from sender to receiver. And in wireless or unguided media they are using radio waves of different frequencies and don't need a wire or cable conductor to transmit the signals. Different design factors are also related with the transmission media. That factors are bandwidth, transmission impairment, interference, number of receivers, etc. Bandwidth, all the other factors remaining constant and greater in bandwidth of a signal, the higher the data rate that can be achieved. Transmission impairment, limit the distance a signal can travel. Interference, computing a signal in overlapping frequency band can distort or wipe out a signal. Number of receivers. Each attachment introduces some attenuation and distortion and limit distance and or data rate. You can see this figure of electromagnetic spectrum for the transmission media. There are various kind of frequencies such as very low frequency, very high frequency, etc. Here, if you concentrate on this part, then if this frequency is needed for power and telephone, this frequency is needed for different instruments also. Here, if you look at this range, normally radios and television electro electronic tubes are integrated and integrated circuits, cellular telephony, are using this media. Normally, in case of radio and telephone, twisted pair cables are used. The frequency range of twi twisted pair cable is 10 to 10 raised to 8. In case of coaxial cable, it is 10 raised to 3 to 10 raised to 9. Normally FM radios and TV are using 10 raised to 8 to 10 raised to 9 that is very high frequency to ultra high frequency range. Microwave radar and microwave antennas are falling in the category of terrestrial and satellite transmission. Infrared lasers are, ungui are guided missiles uh, and they are using 10 raised to 12 to 10 raised to 14. Guided transmission media, they are from the name itself you can imagine that they are having some guidance in terms of wires. They are not wireless. Guided transmission media, are trans the transmission capacity depends on the distance and, and on whether the medium is point to point or multi point. Example of guided transmission media is twisted pair wires coaxial cables and optical fibers.
Twisted pair wires it consists of two insulated copper wires arranged in a regular spiral patterns to minimize electromagnetic and interference between adjacent pairs. Often use that customer facility and also over the distance to carry voice as well as data communication. Low frequency transmission medium can be followed with the help of twisted pair wires. There are mainly various kinds of twisted pair wires but we can broadly classify twisted pair wires as shielded twisted pair wires and unshielded twisted pair wires. Normally very famous term is UTP. In shielded twisted pair wires the pair is wrapped with the metallic foil or braid to the insulate the pair from electromagnetic inference. In UTP, each wire is insulated with plastic wrap, but the pair is encased in outer covering. Rating of twisted pair UTP cables are normally rated with category 3, category 5, etc. In case of category 3, 16 Mbps speed can be achievable or available. In case of UTP-5, data rates is up to 100 Mbps and <laughs> it is normally more flexible in terms of performance also but naturally cost is higher. In case of STP, it is more expensive and so it is harder to work with. Twisted pair advantages they are inexpensive when we talk about category 3 and they are readily available. Flexible and lightweight, easy to work with and install. But there are disadvantages, attenuation problem, relatively low bandwidth and susceptibility to the interference and noise. Coaxial cable, normally they are used with cable television, lens, telephony etc. It has an inner conductor surrounded by a braided mesh. Both conductors share a common central axial hence the term is known as coaxial. If you look at this figure then this yellow circle indicates shielding of wire. Blue material indicates insulating material and normally conductor of this wire is copper. Coaxial cable advantages is they are having higher bandwidth than the previous one which, which means that uh, unguided me, uh, which UTP cables then they can be easily tapped also then they are much less susceptible to the interference than twisted pair cables. Attenuation problem is also available here but in case of only long distance and normally they are available in bulky mode only. Fiber optic cable is the third type of guided media. Relatively new transmission medium used by telephone companies in place of long distance by FOC is used. Private companies are normally implementing local data communication networks with the help of fiber optic cables. They require light source with injection laser diode and light emitting diode as transmission medium. Into this figure if you look at the plastic jacket is overall provided. <coughs> and glass or plastic cladding inside the plastic jacket and fiber core is overcome or covered with this plastic materials. Fiber optic types are divided into mainly three types multi mode step index fiber, multi mode graded index fiber, and single mode fiber. In multi mode step index fiber, the reflective walls 
of the fiber move the light pulses to the receiver in multi mode graded index fiber they are act to refract the light towards center of the fiber by variation in the density and single mode fiber the light is guided down the center of extremely narrow core fiber optic signals are normally in multi mode step index they are moving like zigzag method and multi mode graded index they are moving like one simple wave and in single mode it looks like one straight line fiber optic advantage it has greater bandwidth capacity available rather than the twisted pair as well as quick cell cable it supports up to 2 gigabits per second speed they are smaller in size and lighter in weight it has lower attenuation also and main most important advantage of fiber optic cable is immunity to environmental interference and highly secure due to tap difficulty and lack of signal radiation fiber optic disadvantages are they are expensive for the short distance they require highly skilled installers and for additional node installation is little bit difficult wireless transmission is normally having directional and omnidirectional types wireless examples are terrestrial microwave satellite microwave broadcast radio infrared etc in terrestrial microwave we will have long distance telephone services they are using radio frequency from 2 to 40 gigahertz they are having disk transmitter they are mounted in the high high buildings satellite microwave applications normally satellites are used in case of television broadcasting long distance telephone transmission and private business networks microwave transmission disadvantage line of sight requirement expensive tower and repeaters subject to interference such as passing airplanes and trains satellite microwave transmission and microwave relay station in space is need to be installed geostationary satellites are needed to handle all these activities satellite transmission links each stations communicate by sending signal to the satellite on an uplink and broadcast nature of downlink makes it attractive for the services such as distribution of telephone television programming in this figure we can easily see the uplinks and downlinks uplinks are normally used to upload the data to the tra satellite transporter and that transporter is sending its data to the receiver side at downlink station satellite transmission applications normally they are using in television distribution private business network and long long distance telephone transmission these are various types of bands available in principal satellite transmission if we compare fiber with satellites then optical fiber is useful in case of small distances radio is omnidirectional and microwave directional infrared are normally used in case of non coherent infrared light is available thank you very much here the assignment for the student is compare fiber optic cable transmission and satellite transmission with various parameters thank you very much